Hey guys, and it is time for Riverdale. Oh my god. After last week's ending with Archie sending that message to the Black Hood, I fear for him. I fear for everyone. Because now I feel like the Black Hood is going to retaliate somehow against Archie or against someone he cares about. Oh god. I don't know what's going to happen, but all I can say is I'm scared. If not, there will be more suffering and bloodshed. Enclosed is a cipher. It details where I will punish the next sinner. It is a test. Only you may solve it, Betty. My speech inspired him. That stupid speech I wrote. So the Black Hood is at the Jubilee. The entire town was there. We have to get this to my dad. What? The cipher. Yeah. That could be anyone. Archie, it's adorable when you underestimate me. Come, come. Veronica got a plan. Even Cheryl. Oh, she's sitting there passing them out. Like here, free targets. <laughs> I love a good mystery, but then again, it kills me. Oh god, Archie, what are you doing? Are you gonna spray paint a red circle? Yep. Red circle. How'd it come out? Oh, what, we don't get to see it? I have a feeling that's not the only target he's gonna put. Am I right? I am right. Damn. It's a pretty dope target. Ah, oh, shit. Right, run, our chickens, run. Oh, it's this bitch. Just walk away, Archie. Well, to be fair, he did try walking away. You can't come here and take our turf. So why don't you get your ass back to the north side before somebody gets her? Fuck you. Or someone will get her. Archie. Oh no. Oh no. Archie, just walk away. Just walk away. Put it down, Archie. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Oh my God. Jesus, Archie. No coming back from that. Yes, it does. It matters to me and your dad, Betty Jughead. Meanwhile, like an idiot, I'm trying to support you by designing t-shirts. I didn't ask you to do that. No, you just asked me to go fetch your loaded gun. And by the way, in case you were wondering where it is, I threw it in Sweetwater River. What? You can be mad at me now, but you'll thank me for it later. Oh, shit. Wait. Please be someone friendly. Reggie? Pizza. Well, pizza's nice. Parents of Riverdale, I've heard your concerns. I share them. As your mayor, my top priorities are ensuring the safety of our town and our children. The purpose of this town hall is to answer your questions and, if I can, to ease your minds. Mm. 
much what do we owe this unexpected honor? I should could have told Wendy that it was mine. But he didn't. In the Book of Reds, that makes you a top-tier royal badass. And uh, we were talking today and decided, if you want to keep the Red Circle going, we're here for you, dude. Oh, now who's here? It's not like a motorcycle. Uh oh. Oh no! Archie, These bitches again! Anyone in that room? A pit of violence waiting to oh arrest. no. Just ask Fred Andrews. I'm scared. <laughs> Who's gonna die? If, what if someone dies? Now I'm really scared. As Negan would say, I got my shit and pants off. Talk about this town being divided. Alice, you're the one holding the cleaver. The south side is not the issue. The issue is there was a guy out there. Okay, boys, really. You're, you're men. Is this really necessary? Oh, I guess it is. Oh, he's just falling down in slow motion. Of course, Fred Andrews turns the other cheek as usual. I can't say much about your son, Archie, but I can tell you that he is not the only one Um Get up, Archie, get up! <sighs> Damn it, the black could be anyone. Bitch. If he's in that room, they just announced his plan. Oh, fuck. Stay calm? Now everyone get the hell out. Oh, damn. Come on, Archie. Really, bitch? Oh, shit. Wait, did someone get stabbed? Wait, did someone get stabbed? Uh oh. I knew she didn't get rid of the gun. Oh shit. Oh yeah, things would turn out way differently. I don't want to think about it. I honestly, I might have. But you didn't. And I don't believe you would have. Even if you had it. You're not a killer. No, he's not. Oh shit, what? And so the young to get rid of the gun. Back to where it all began. Sweetwater River. To try and end the cycle of violence. We'd come to think of that night. The night of the rumble. Do it, Archie. Throw it in. Town hall. Yay! Riverdale would no longer be the town of the pep. From now on, it would be known. 
clever name. Please be someone friendly. Shit! It's the lag. Are you fucking kidding me? Hi, I'm Natalie Kelly. An all new episode of Leave a message. The black kid called you. Yes. I don't like sharing you with other people. Cut them out of your Possessive way. much. Or I will. My way. Please don't hurt her. Who? Hurt who? Episode next Wednesday at 8 7. Hurt who? Who's there? Her? What an episode. Oh my god. That had me shaking the entire time. Like, okay. I have a lot of suspects, and by a lot of suspects, I mean I have a very few suspects for who the Black Hood's true identity could be. My top suspect is Sheriff Keller. Mainly because, I don't know, I just have a gut feeling. Because... A lot of people think that the killer could be Buddy's brother, because it's already confirmed we're getting Buddy's brother. I think his name is Sheik or something. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's already confirmed her brother is coming onto the show, but her brother looks young. Whereas, even though we only saw the eyes and the eyebrows of the Black Hood, he looks old. Like, older. And Sheriff Killer... Keller, not Killer. <laughs> but Killer... <laughs> But Sheriff Keller, he, he does have the eyebrows. As for the eyes, because the eyes are green, I don't know, maybe. But aside from Sheriff Keller, I'm not ruling out Buddy's brother. He definitely, even though I, I don't think it's definite he could be the killer, um, it's definitely a possibility. Definitely. Um, who else could be the killer? Honestly, I want to say the Lodges are involved, but no, because Hermione, even though she turned into a real bitch this season, because I liked her in season one, she even, she did have an affair with Fred, and I think deep down she cares about him, so she would never hurt him. I, as for Hiram, Hiram may be shady and creepy. <sighs> But I don't think so. But he does have the motive. Because, um, you know, his daughter is dating Archie and, well, it's not really a motive, but he's one of the pe people on the show that I would definitely rule as a suspect. But I think he could be another red herring. Like, in season one, when FP was the red herring, like, we all thought, we were all led to believe that FP was the one who killed Jason, but it was actually Clifford Blossom. I think Hiram Lodge is the the red herring for this season. They're making it look like he's guilty. Well, they're not making it look like it. They're giving us clues. Like, they're making him sh as shady and mysterious as possible to make us believe that he is the Black Hood. Or not the Black Hood, but that he hired the Black Hood. But if you think about it, it could also be someone we've never met before. Someone we don't even know. Because I definitely, without a doubt, think that this person was hired by someone. Either they're doing it for their own sole purpose or they're hired by someone. But after tonight's episode, I don't think he was hired by someone. He's doing this for himself. He was doing this for his own goal, his own purpose, after he gave Betty that letter. Because he said that at the Jubilee, her speech inspired him. And he was there. That means he heard her speech. He was there. He could have been anyone. Because now I have to go back. I have to watch her speech again. And I'm going to take a very good look at everyone in that room. Hey, maybe something will happen. Maybe you'll find someone. But I don't know. Sheriff Keller right now is my top, my top suspect. As for the motive, I don't know. But then again, how would Betty's speech inspire him? But then that could lead to her brother. She could inspire him. I don't know. It's Riverdale. Anything could happen. 
Aside from that, I really like this episode because, oh my god, Archie pointing the gun at the serpents was crazy. It was, it wasn't good. It was, it was definitely not good. It was, it was crazy. Like, I'm just sitting here like, Archie, just walk away. I know you're pissed. I know you're going down a dark path because of everything that's happened. Just walk away away and he was gonna do it but no they had to go and be little bitches and pull out a knife and then he takes the gun out I'm like Archie just walk away please oh but I kind of like Archie going down a dark path it's it could lead to more character development and I like that oh god and Jesus oh, we still don't know about the whole Clifford Blossom thing I don't think he killed himself. I mean, it's possible because it looks like he did. But then uh, back in the premiere, we were led to believe that maybe Cheryl's mom did it because Cheryl is pretty much blackmailing her mother because when she was like holding her oxygen thing, keeping her from breathing, she you could literally tell she was blackmailing her like, I'm not ruling out the possibility that her mother could have killed Clifford. Like, what if after they found out that he killed their own son, what if she went into this rage and, like, killed him and then made it look like a suicide? I like that. I think that could be true. But, we'll find out. Overall, though, this was a very, very, very good, dark, creepy, suspenseful episode. <laughs> and I loved this episode very much. I am really excited for this season, and I forgot. We're getting 22 episodes, right? I think so. I didn't, I didn't look at the episode count for how many we're getting this season, but I'm pretty sure we're getting 22, at least what I heard. If that's true, I'm very happy because that means more Riverdale and the mystery will go on longer. Unless they do it in the mid-season finale and then the new mystery of the second half, but no. No. But anyway, that was a good episode. It was dark and I loved it. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. Well, I enjoyed the episode. I was a little scared, but you know, shows do that to a person. So that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys next time.